Oh, 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 oh. What'd you say? I'm sorry, the air conditioning in my new car works too well. <laughs> Let me stop playing. The Lord doesn't like a boasting woman. But no, for real. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Quincy Simone. Um, we don't really do introductions over here. I say this in almost like every video. It's just it's me, myself, and I. I create content about any and everything. I share my experiences, my testimonies. I vlog. I do this. I do a little bit of everything. And if you feel like we vibe, then all the better. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that. And if you don't want to, hey, I am not about to pressure you. That is okay, babes. If you're just here for a good time, not a long time, that's fair. <laughs> but I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, like, comment, and share, and just here for the long run because I'd really appreciate you to have you a part of the family. But I did get a new car. Yo, God is so good. I'm going to create a whole different video of like the whole testimony of how I got this car because it really is just like the Lord's blessing. I'm going to try not to cry. It's a 2024 Audi Q3 and it's the Premium Plus. Um, I'm going to get into everything of what that means of like the Premium Plus and everything and I'm going to do like a full car tour. This is not me like like I said in the beginning boasting. I was just playing. I was just being goofy you know but this is not me boasting or bragging or anything like that. It's just to sim simply show that like I am a young 24 year old and so many people told me that I couldn't get a luxury car. It's not possible. Even in the testimony, I'll, I'll explain a bit more of how like, you know, there was, um, if I were to do it all on my own, I wouldn't have been able to get this car. There were just certain things that happened. It's like, wow, like the Lord literally was on my side. When you have the right heart posture, when you ask and when you pray diligently and you believe in your heart and you have faith, all he needs is just a mustard seed of faith. When you give it to him, on his own time and everything not by our power not by our, our might but everything that he does he will make it happen for you and this car is a testimony in itself as a young person so let's get into this i don't want to make this introduction too long once again i got a 2024 audi q3 premium plus s line side note the rims did not come black i got a glossy black plastic dip job let's get into this interior though so right off we have this distinguishing eye catcher conversation starter old copy brown colored leather seats that is a mouthful i wanted the typical black on black at first but the manager was like do something different and get the old copy brown and now i live for the contrast of the black and brown it's unmatched this q3 is an suv obviously so it seats five people including the driver and it is an all-wheel drive for those who were able to peep the front grille said quattro so that's what that means you see how the floor doesn't have carpet very cutesy very easy to clean very demure but i really do appreciate that this car has USB-C ports that's the only port my iphone 15 allows to cup holder in the back that'll never be used but this moonroof honey stop my 2015 ain't treat me like this but no for real when i put this all the way back i'd be smiling ear to ear just to have some vitamin d shining on me <laughs> this is another storage part in the back that won't get used unfortunately it's just really rare that i have more than one person riding with me in the car but i think that's really good for storage so these are all the controls that come on the steering wheel so this basically just controls the short-term memory this will tell me how long i've been in the car for the distance that i've driven to day like as far as like when I turn it on and when I get to my destination it'll tell me how many miles I have driven basically and then it will also show me like the amount of minutes I guess this is so since I haven't really been anywhere today it's saying that I've only been like in the car for 20 minutes which is about right I haven't been anywhere but the car has been on for 20 minutes then here's the long-term memory it shows that I, I've driven for a total of 35 hours since I've gotten this car and then I've driven a total of 831 miles I know I know y'all of course I didn't have this on my 2015 Honda but this will show me how many miles I have left to drive until I will be on E. So I have 185 miles left to drive um, with basically half a tank. I also forgot to show you guys that this basically just like goes through different um, points of views on my dashboard here. So um, if I had my music playing, this would just show me what's next up. Like it'll show like the little mini album. So if I'm on an album, it'll show me like the next song to play. And I can basically just like scroll down with this little wheelie thingy here. Um, select the next song versus going back on my phone, taking my eyes off the road and having to change the song. So the next mode here, is my call list so I can basically um, just like scroll down to whoever I need to call which I really really like so I don't have to again I feel like all of this is basically just like hands-free technology so you don't have to pick up your phone and then the last one is just driver's assistance again we're moving so. on to my favorite part now this screen is absolutely my favorite part of this car the reason that I really like this screen is because it's so different from like the standard all the 2024 cars how their screen is made where the screen is basically up here and sticking out I was like oh like this is like this is so different and it fits like the luxury type like the way that it's built in like this and 
it's a little like tilted but if I go to home these are the different selections basically and it has three different type of um three different type of options of windows that you can go to radio basically that's just the radio you just pick what station the media section is basically for anybody that wants to hook up to bluetooth i think there's about like three to four different phones that it will like memorize versus on my hyundai i think there was only like two phone this is just where i go to for all my latest um people i can add favorites into here and this is just like your standard screen if you were in any basically like 2024 car and it has the apple carplay i really like this screen um i've always wanted it since i was in my honda and i just seen everybody else getting it now that i have it i'm just like ah, i don't know it's just something about me that likes something different something that stands out from other cars so i rarely put it on this type of display but we have the vehicle oh this I'm gonna have to show you guys at nighttime so you guys can really, really see what I'm talking about. It's not really gonna show in the daytime. This light and visibility, but this is also one of the key features that I wanted that the Q5 does not have. Um, so it has obviously your exterior lighting with your headlights and everything that I showed you guys that automatically is just on throughout all types of weather and all types of um, throughout the day. But the interior lighting, baby, is what you usually see on like um, Mercedes and everything that basically light up throughout the car. So this has about uh, it goes from like 17 to 30 so I'd say about like 16 um, different options of lighting I really like the blue again I'm gonna have to show you guys at night because you're not really gonna get a sense of what they look like in the car during the day but I actually really really like this and you would think it'd be like a an overwhelming corny cheesy type of like too much lighting in the car but it's not it's real subtle parking aid this is just gonna ask me how loud I want the sensors to be so when I'm getting close to something when I'm actual like pulling into park it'll show me that like hey like stop 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 you're about to run into something or if I'm backing up it's gonna say that like hey you're about to back into something one thing I also like um, when it comes to parking I'm gonna show y'all real quick so it has these two options as well right when it comes to i'm about to back up which i really like this was on my hyundai but this wasn't i feel like this is a top tier feature if you do not know how to if you do not know how to back up because like this will show like real time features this, this will show if somebody's a car is passing by if a um, person is walking by this is not just me showing the car like this is showing your actual real life surroundings if a car was right here if a car was right here and i actually really really like that but there are also other options so if i put this in here and if I press this, it's going to show all these different, literally, different types of angles that you would really, really need. And I love this. This was actually on the Q5, and I think this is a part of the Premium Plus, of that it shows all these different angles when you're trying to park. This shows, like, my front, my front tires, how each of them are facing. This is showing my back tires. I really, really like this feature. It is a top tier feature if you do not know how to park. Now, I do, if I do say so myself, I am really good at parking. So, it's actually really, really nice to have this, but I usually um, I usually just keep it in, um, in this these two modes when I'm backing up. And for driver's assistance, it's basically self-explanatory. It's basically the um, wheel is going to kind of like in the wheels and the um, steering wheel is basically gonna like readjust you if you're like going over a line or if somebody's on your um, blind spot it's going to basically like jerk you back I do not like that so I do not have that on mine um, it's basically just gonna show, tell me like when something is close or it's basically gonna show in my side mirrors blinking that somebody is by me for settings and service my um, car dealership man basically said I will never really need to go into this this is basically if some type of technology within the car is messing up I'll bring it in and um, the IT people will come in and that's that's the button I don't touch this favorites um, I don't know, I guess I would just add, this is basically like the people that I always want to call, call or the functions that I really, really like. I don't really, I don't really use this as you can see. Let's go back to the main. So favorites, like I said, I can just add favorites from my phone. Settings, this is basically just like that settings part that I told you guys about too. This is like a help guide. Um, it's going to tell you everything about the car if I just wanted to sit here and literally play with the car and to see like what all the functions are within it. I still haven't done that, so. <laughs> but this is also what I was talking about that i could have like another user this is different from like the bluetooth kind but i really like that like if i had a boyfriend or a hubby you know he could come in here and he can make himself a user as well right here and then if somebody was like temporarily i guess in my car and just wanted to be a guest user they can hook up put their display the way that they want it and move around the way that the um 
all the buns are displayed. Now, I, your girl, y'all know that I'm a loner and I have only about like two solid, three solid friends. So this ain't really, <laughs> this ain't really gonna be used. But I think this is really nice for people that um, who are married and they want to easily just be able to go back to the way that they had the screen displayed and the music that they had put up, the favorites of the people that they put in and everything and their favorite radio stations and all that. I think this is a really nice feature. But as you can see, I'm the key user because I am the owner. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> This messaging part is going to direct me to Apple CarPlay. Um, yeah, so if I switch to Apple CarPlay, it's basically just going to read off all these messages. Um, it's going to tell me what Alyssa said to me last, if I want it to repeat, or if I want to respond. And I'll basically just say what I want to say, and I'll send the message. Then the sunroof. Your girl ain't didn't, didn't, didn't have a sunroof in her 2015. Now, this doesn't go all the way back, but that's okay, because what did I tell y'all? I'm a loner. I got like two or three solid friends that I can call on. Even if they are sitting on the back, which they would never need to because I never hang out with all of them together. We are not a friend group. I hang out with each of them individually and separately. Matter of fact, they don't even know each other. Um, so it would never really need to be somebody like here, here, and here. It would never be, we would never be four, four person deep in this car. So um, the fact that it only stops halfway and as long as I can get some vitamin D up in this front part, we good. Another feature I really, really like that's not in my Hyundai. It has two different seat settings. I'm short, so um, I need mine to stay just like this. But if, like, if I had a husband or boyfriend, he could come in and set up his seat settings, and it'll basically just adjust. Well, I'm, I'm gonna be one. I'm forever gonna be one as long as I own this car. But if he came in and he wanted to press two it's gonna just automatically adjust the seat so we don't have to keep on okay like was i here or was i like this was i we don't have to keep going back and forth last but not least i'm gonna show you guys everything that i keep in my little armrest thing here i got some pretty good essential things up in here so first i have my tom ford um eyeglass protective um case now i don't have them on my head i thought these were my actual glasses now the um glasses in here aren't my tom fords these are actually my backup sunglasses i mean my backup regular glasses because um if I want to take off my contacts which I usually do end up wearing when I go somewhere and I'm just like oh no these contacts about to fall off they're getting too dry I can just easily swap into my my backup glasses um the reason why I don't want to like carry my actual Tom Ford glasses with me on the go is because god forbid god forbid if this car were to get stolen I do not want them to have my actual good glasses those actually cost me a pretty penny obviously I haven't um actually use them because they're dirty as heck but I have my um eyeglass cleaners and everything in here and my um some wipes in here so I keep that in here for show because I really do get irritated with my contacts like if I go like a cool eight hours with them in so along with that I also have a contact case I probably need to have two one empty case where if I have my contacts and I don't want them in I could put them in there put on my glasses and then one where um I don't where I do have my contacts and if I'm wearing my glasses and I'm going somewhere like one well, trying to pop out for real but it's just like sometimes I really do just want to switch into my contacts it's just easier so I really do need to put one where I don't and one where I do but right now this is just an empty contact case so my sunglasses obviously in here an emergency pair an emergency claw clip I have some um facial moisturizer because the medication that I use the doxycycline um, it's a pill and it dries out everything in my face so sometimes even when I think I've moisturized my face pretty good I haven't so I keep this on me for sure so I'm just not peeling and looking like an alligator and possibly scaring somebody scaring somebody's um scaring my future husband because I'm you, you don't know I don't know where I might meet him at so I keep that in here I keep it in here because in this type of um medicine bottle just an old medicine bottle because it just works and um what I actually keep my vanity cream in the tube is too big so this is just a nice on the go trip i could just get a more i could just go to target and get like a travel size empty tube so it looks a bit more aesthetic and not just an old medicine bottle which really says like the prescription on here and everything but you know i'm gonna actually keep that in mind the next time i go to target <laughs> i also have some bc in here if you don't know if you are not hip for my girls that be struggling on their period and them cramps be making you want to pop six to seven ibuprofen. Toss that ibuprofen, Tylenol, um, Advil out. Get you some BC. This works within like 20 minutes and it's going to last you for a good like six to seven hours. And you know sometimes how when you take ibuprofen or like those other medications that like you still like kind of feel like a subtle type of cramp. Like it's, it's alleviated most of the pain and the cramping but it's like you still kind of feel like that like that little cramp here and there this is gonna leave you with no type of pain so i highly recommend this i have some aquaphor chapstick 
and then I have some Nivea um just some hand lotion or if like I'm ashy this is one of the bigger tubes so if I need it on my legs or my arms I can do so and then got to have the deodorant got to have it you know the summertime is a crucial time and sometimes sometimes we really do just be rushing out the um the house without no deodorant I ain't did that in a minute but accidents are called accidents for a reason so keep this on me and it's a full one it's a full one I don't even know if she's been actually opened yet so but that is that's my car tour I absolutely love this car and like I said again this is not me bragging there's certain things that the Lord does to show you and those around you that like if you just have faith if you just go back and have faith and remember what I told you and the promises that I told you I'm gonna make it happen I'm gonna make it happen like as young people so many people tell us you can't do this you can't do this you can't go and quit this nine to five and be this you can't go and quit this nine to five and and, and furthermore you can't buy this car you can't do this when they come from a really really good heart they just want to use their wisdom towards up wisdom towards us but one they have to realize one we're in a different time like gen z gen x all of us we're in a different time and two like we i feel like our generation is more likely to step out on faith i want to encourage anybody who who wants something to just put it in the Lord's hands to pray about it pray for signs pray for an understanding pray for wisdom pray for clarity because he so needed me to realize about some things and learn about certain information and facts of buying a car and what you need before going to go get a car and everything before actually getting the car you know so I just hope whoever sees this just decides to dream big because when you got God on your side you can do that thank you so much for watching my video and if you decide to subscribe then thank you so much again and um i'm just glad that you're a part of the family we in this for the long run we like this we locked in for life but i'm gonna talk to you guys later bye